like these crabs are already one shot so we're just gonna go ahead and cut them in half we're gonna send out three setups and see how the bite is before we send out three more so let's get started Ugh. all right so we got a big fish leader you guys seen these in the past got a huge hook i'm gonna put this piece of crab just like that that's perfect Ooh. pbs pbs nothing but pbs i guess i'll get away four ounce blue ridge and snooks and what this weight does it helps so that the current doesn't take your bait everywhere it sticks to the bottom as long as you reel it in quick you won't get snagged but here at the jetty you just never know there's a lot of snags everywhere and with these leaders you just clip it in just like this there you go now we're ready to cast I'm already tired, I don't know why. All right guys, we're pretty much set up. All we need to do is cast it out as far as we can and wait. Oh yeah. That felt pretty good, but I think I needed to warm up before that. Set that weight at the bottom. Yeah, current is ripping to the left. But we'll leave it here for now. We're gonna let Chris and Angel cast, turn that clicker on, and wait for a bite. All right, we have Chris, he's gonna cast out next. He has a nice chunk of crab too, with fish bites. He's using that new setup you guys saw last video. That was really good, bro. looks clean all right guys so we got two setups out now angel's gonna cut another crab so he can cast out back in action first trip for angel 2024 oh my god <laughs> uh, all the juices yeah. <laughs> you want to put it or you you want me to do it all right babe. you got it next though right yeah let me just look all right I'll put it right here through this little soft spot you see this it's soft it's not right. shell you go right through you can either pass it through the bottom or this third leg right here you go gentle don't crack it easy that, easy fit, that fish is gonna come right there and grab it bro that's how much you paid us how much did 500 you bucks. 500 bucks for some bull red for a six hour trip 500 bucks hey worth it it's <laughs> worth it he's about to catch his pv we're gonna see well actually last time he actually did catch his pv and it was on top with all the bull reds all right, let's go that way, bro. You're going to cast over there. Not bad. You're a little short. I'm saying, bro. Bad. I thought so, too. I let go too now early, you huh? You feel like you could have done better? I let go too early, huh? You want to reel it in back in or try again? What you think? You can leave it. I mean, sometimes they're up close to the rock. So, yeah, sometimes they're up close. Just leave it right there. But let me set, let me set the weight. I let go too early, huh? Yeah, I think you let go a little too early, but you'll be all right. All right, guys, we're here. We're going to be tossing out some live shrimp. Hopefully catch some sheep's head. So I'm using a J-hook and hopefully get our limit of trout. Look at that. It's that perfect live shrimp. I'm going to hook it right under that horn, just like that. I think yours is going off, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. How is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, yeah, fish. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yes, sir. Woo! Horse him out of that snack. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. 
first fish of the day, like 30 minutes. It's gonna be slippery, bro. I can land it, bro. Yes, sir. My phone's behind. Oh, nice drum. Nice drum. Oh, where can we go? You want to take him off? Uh, these are slippery. I'm gonna take him to you, bro. Come on. Just let, let, give him slack. Let him, let him float to me. Ah, uh, pull. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. Right, let me help you. I'll leave it there for a bit. Put the rock I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on. Big. Oh, oh my God. Uh. Boom. That's huge. That's a big drum. It looks small down there, but up here, it's a big. Woo! All right, guys. For drum like these, if we're fishing deep water like the jetty, we gotta take that air out because they're coming from deep water and that pressure fills them up with air in their air bladder. So. We gotta relieve that pressure so they can swim down. If you don't do this, they'll die. Listen to that. Just like that. He's relieved. Yep. It's like a big fart. He's letting that gas out. All right, guys. Chris is about to release this guy. One last show. All right, check that out, y'all. Giant drum. Oh, it's hard. All right, let's catch more. Come on. Perfect right there. This is a perfect spot right here to let him breathe. Oh, he's ready, bro. Look at him. Woo, great. Nice job, Chris. Good stuff, Angel. Everybody's working as a team. Make sure we land these fish safely, that we don't get hurt, and the fish is really safe. No. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> He went down a lot, so I gotta let him go out. I'm gonna take him to the right since he's going. He's pulling. He's rubbing on rocks though. Yeah, my line's sprayed up too a bit. That's why they use shock leader. Look, look, look. Right there? Oh, I'll let him go to the right. Right. 
There you go. All right, bro, you can pass it to me. Oh, dang, bro, that's a 40. You all right? Hey, let me just, just, just let the, the net drop. Let me see. Three-man job here. Yep. Oh my god. We're about to mess with it. We're about to mess with this guy. How big is he? Let's see. Oh shoot. Check over there. 37. 37. He's just big, man. He's tall. Oh yeah. Perfect hook set too. That's exactly what we want. Check out this giant drum I just caught. 37 inch or, wow. These are the giants that are starting to come out. They're gonna run all through February until March. Whew. That's why we're out here. You wanna release them for me? All right, where do we release them? Same spot? Yeah. Where you oh, feel comfortable? Right perfect, bro. Hold on, gang, hold on, gang. Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And you don't want to be that person that falls because you're using flip-flops or crocs. I'm good. Right. Show that big old drum. Giant. Look how clear the water is here and over there is dirtier. He's kicking. Just let him breathe for a little bit. Like I said earlier, we're letting these fish recuperate from a long fight, hard fight. They fight very hard. So when the water is perfect like this, we always try to let them go, let them breathe. You know, sometimes it's too rough for us to like do this because the waves are crashing. So we just throw them back in. But this is what we like to see. There you go. Yep. Pissed off now. I'm let go. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at him, bro. Let's go. All right, guys, it's been a while since we caught those black drums. So now we got some live shrimp. We're gonna toss around for a bit. Let me show you the setup I got. Whoa, 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 keeper, keeper, keeper. All right, so we got a float right here. I'm not sure what kind of float this is. It looks like a popping cork, but it has mono on the middle. And I have like a eight foot liter. 20 pound fluoro and then this tiny little pinch weight like 12 inches above the hook and then i have a j hook for sheep's head let's grab one of these shrimp these are all perfect that's exactly what we want let's hook it real quick so most of the time these shrimp when they're alive you want to hook them under the horn on the head try to not hit any of those dark spots because those are like the organs the brain just like that, and he's still alive. And then we cast it out, not too close to the rocks, but not too far out. Most of those sheep said they're gonna be closer to the rocks, eating barnacles, little crabs, and whatnot. There you go. And now we wait. So while we wait, I wanna quickly talk to you about some new projects we have going on. So we are trying to get serious and upload more on Facebook. We're trying to upload some short content there, like reels, also like five minute videos. So if you have not followed us on Facebook yet, please go follow us. It's GG Anglers. It'll pop up right away. Follow us. And let's try to get a 30,000 followers on Facebook. Also, we have a shorts channel. We will be uploading all of our shorts on the shorts channel. It's GG Angler Shorts. It should come up right away when you search it or you can check the description under this video and i'll have links there down below for you to check out for the facebook instagram everything it'll be the link tree below so please go follow us and uh let's catch a sheep hit what are the odds right boat passes by and I don't know, it probably just moved it, to be honest. I don't think there's a fish.
Yeah, it's not. It was the boat. Yeah, it probably moved it to the rock. <clears throat> the ship moving their their leaders. Base still there, but we'll probably just get a new one. Uh, yeah. So Chris was on. Chris wasn't pulling drag or nothing. It was just sitting on my bait. It has to be a drum. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. You wanna hold it, Chris? I mean, Angel? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Second fish for Chris. Nice. Let's go. Third one of the day. Ooh. That might be a keeper. We can take him over there, bro. Catch, cook, release. Catch, is cook at the jetty. Catch, cook, release. All right, let's get a quick catch and cook release. Uh, cause lost it. Yeah, cause he, he's probably been there for a while, not pulling anything. Mm -hmm. That one's golden too. Oh, guys, this is my favorite part because you get to see him swim off, and the water's so clear. But this guy is like ready. He's like super energetic. I mean, he he didn't even fight. He was saving all his energy. Today. Yeah, for real. He probably push him off and he'll go. Okay. Is he kicking a little bit? No, not yet. There you go. He's lost. Look at him, look at him. Oh my God, look at that, bro. Come back to me, buddy. Look at that, bro. Oh. Oh, bro. I was about to catch him twice. Bro, that's so cool, dude. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It wasn't quite the style that I was looking for, but we're slowly getting better at that. I know the next fishing episode is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of vlogging, going to the store. And I say next fishing episode because today we're gonna go to the fishing show and I'm gonna vlog it. I'm gonna try to record the whole experience. And I just think it's gonna be a fun little vlog. I'm not gonna buy anything. I have a lot of stuff, but I wanna show you guys and the people who have not been to the fishing show how it is and what to expect and you know show all the boots and, and we have a couple friends that are there right now like george from salty head and we're just gonna go see what's up hopefully we have a fun time so expect that video in the next couple days i think i'll probably put that in between the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment follow us on all social media till next time